In recent years, the rise of digital technology has brought about significant changes in how we conduct transactions and manage assets. Traditional assets like physical properties and securities have evolved into their digital counterparts, commonly referred to as digital assets. But what exactly is a digital asset and how are they used? In today's video, we will be taking a look at what is a digital asset, why do people own digital assets and the dangers of digital assets. Hello and welcome to another KYC Lookup video where we bring you AML related content to help you enhance your knowledge in the fight against money laundering. Before diving into today's video, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Oh, and don't forget to leave us a comment with any suggested topics you would like us to cover in the future. So, on to today's video. What is a digital asset? Digital assets encompass a broad range of intangible assets that exist in electronic form. These assets can represent ownership, value or rights and are stored and transferred using blockchain technology or distributed ledger systems. Examples of digital assets include cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum and other altcoins. Digital tokens, representing ownership in a specific asset or project. Digital representations of physical assets and more. Why do people own digital assets? People have digital assets for various reasons driven by the benefits and opportunities presented by the digital world. Here are some of the primary reasons why people hold digital assets. Investment opportunities. Digital assets, particularly cryptocurrencies, have gained popularity as alternative investment opportunities. Many individuals see the potential for significant returns on their investments, as the value of certain digital assets like Bitcoin and Ethereum have experienced substantial growth over time. Financial inclusion. Digital assets provide opportunities for financial inclusion, especially for individuals in regions with limited access to traditional banking services. Cryptocurrencies allow people to participate in the global economy and transfer funds securely without the need for intermediaries. Decentralization and control. Holding digital assets allows individuals to take control of their finances without relying on centralised financial institutions. Owning digital assets mean having ownership of private keys or wallets, which can enhance financial sovereignty and control over one's assets. Privacy and anonymity. Some digital assets offer a level of privacy and anonymity in transactions. This aspect may appeal to individuals who value financial privacy and wish to keep their financial activities discreet. And tokenization of assets. Digital assets enable the tokenization of physical assets or ownership rights, allowing for fractional ownership and increased liquidity. This concept can revolutionize real estate, art and other asset classes, making them more accessible to a broader range of investors. What are the dangers of digital assets? Digital assets have emerged as a disruptive force in the financial world, offering unprecedented opportunities for investment and wealth generation. However, this new frontier is not without its perils. By understanding the risks, investors can make informed decisions and implement strategies to safeguard their investments. Here we outline some of the dangers. Market volatility. Perhaps the most glaring danger of digital assets is their extreme price volatility. Cryptocurrencies in particular are notorious for experiencing wild price swings, often within a short period. Rapid fluctuations in value can lead to significant gains, but also expose investors to substantial losses. Lack of regulation and market manipulation can exasperate these price movements making it crucial for investors to exercise caution and avoid speculative behaviour. 
Security vulnerabilities. Digital assets are typically stored in digital wallets, which are prone to hacking and cyber attacks. If a hacker gains access to a user's wallet or private keys, they can steal the entire asset holdings. Additionally, phishing scams and fraudulent schemes are prevalent in the cryptocurrency space, targeting unsuspecting investors. Proper security measures such as using hardware wallets and multi-factor authentication are essential to mitigate these risks. Regulatory uncertainty The regulatory landscape surrounding digital assets remains fragmented and often ambiguous. Different countries and jurisdictions have varied approaches to cryptocurrency regulation which can result in confusion for investors and businesses operating in the space. Regulatory changes or crackdowns on digital assets can lead to sudden market turbulence, affecting asset prices and investor confidence. Lack of consumer protections Unlike traditional financial systems, digital assets often lack the same level of consumer protections. In many cases, Transactions are irreversible and there may be no recourse for users who fall victim to scams or fraudulent projects. The absence of centralised intermediaries also means that recovering lost or stolen assets can be challenging or impossible. Misinformation and pump-dump schemes The unregulated nature of the digital asset market makes it susceptible to misinformation and pump-and-dump schemes. Bad actors may spread false information to manipulate prices, artificially inflating the value of certain assets before selling off their holdings at a profit. Investors should exercise due diligence and verify information from reputable sources before making investment decisions. How to keep your digital assets safe Keeping your digital assets safe requires implementing strong security practices to protect against various threats such as hacking, phishing and fraud. Here are some essential tips to safeguard your digital assets. Use hardware wallets. Consider using hardware wallets, which are physical devices specifically designed to store and protect digital assets offline. These wallets offer robust security, as they keep your private keys offline, making it harder for hackers to gain access. Enable two-factor authentication, 2FA. Enable 2FA wherever possible for your digital asset accounts. This adds an extra layer of security by requiring a second verification step, usually through a smartphone app or text message to access your accounts. Back up your wallets. Create secure backups for your digital asset wallets and store them in separate physical locations. This ensures that you can recover your assets in case of theft, loss or damage to your primary device. Use secure networks. Only access your digital assets accounts and wallets on secure and trusted networks. Avoid using public Wi-Fi or unsecured networks as they can be vulnerable to hackers intercepting your data. Limit exposure of private keys. Avoid sharing your private keys to anyone. Your private keys are a gateway to your digital assets and sharing them can lead to unauthorised access. And diversify and spread assets. Consider diversifying your digital asset holdings across different wallets and exchanges. Spreading your assets can reduce the risk of losing everything in case one platform is compromised. By following these security measures, you can significantly enhance the safety of your digital assets and reduce the risk of falling victim to cyber attacks or fraud. Remember that the responsibility for safeguarding your digital assets ultimately lies with you, and proactive security practices are essential for maintaining control and ownership over your holdings. Well, there you have it. What is a digital asset? why do people own digital assets and the dangers of digital assets. Please let us know in the comments section if you think there are enough regulations around digital assets 
and any other topics you would like us to cover in the future. We have now launched our very own courses for you to take a more in-depth look at a variety of subjects, such as introduction to AML, beneficial ownership, and customer risk rating, for example. So make sure you visit our website for further details and let us help you connect the dots in KYC. Thank you for watching the video. And if you made it this far, don't forget to like and subscribe to watch more amazing videos.